In this video, we will learn how to set various kinds of fields like electric fields, magnetic fields, gravity, etc., and their interaction with surrounding objects, starting with the interaction between different charges. Let's take Rutherford's experiment as our reference. First, let's create ions by selecting the disk tool from the toolbar and dragging it over the canvas. Similarly, we will create our nucleus which is larger than the ion. Other ions will be created later simply by copy-paste functionality. Then, after selecting each object, we will assign its charge value from the properties table. Set a higher value of charge for the nucleus, since we want our nucleus to exert strong force, and a lower charge value for the ion, so as to minimize the mutual forces of repulsion among ions. Similarly, we can set the horizontal velocity of the ion towards the nucleus from the properties table. Now, we will copy and paste the ion by selecting and right-clicking over it to copy, and then by right-clicking over the canvas to paste it, as many times as desired. Before we move on, we must disable gravity as it is not needed here. Also, since we want our nucleus to be stationary, we will select our nucleus and right-click over it. Then, under the Selection tab, select Glue to Background function. It's time to run our simulation. Not bad? Now to make your simulation more impactful, use one of Simfi's visualizing tools called the Tracer tool from the toolbar. After you're done adjusting the settings, attach the tracer to each ion and hit play. Doesn't our simulation look more impactful now? Let's make a new simulation using an electric field. First, add an external electric field by right-clicking over the canvas and selecting World Settings. Choose the second tab called Fields to add electric field using Add Field button. In the follow-up window, select the electric field option in the field type, set a large value of intensity of the order of 10 raised to 6, since our dipole possesses only micro coulombs charge, and lastly set appropriate boundaries for the external electric field using the Set Bounds button. Now, we need to create equal and opposite charged bodies, which we are already familiar with. Simply, select the disk tool from the toolbar and drag it over the canvas to create two disks. Then set their charge value from the properties table. But make sure to choose a lower value so as to minimize the mutual interaction between charges. To connect both the charges, draw a rod using the rectangle tool and select revolute joint tool from the toolbar and uncheck the visible box from the properties table. Finally, right-click over the rod, selecting Send to Back option under the Selection tab. For this part of the tutorial, we don't want to show the electric field of individual charges, which can be done by right-clicking over the canvas and selecting Preferences from the menu. In the Preferences window, we can uncheck the Draw Charge Field Lines box at the bottom. Before we run our simulation, disable gravity from the toolbar. Now hit the Play button. Notice that the center of mass is at rest. Let's find out why. Use FBD tool from the toolbar and attach it to both the charges. See, center of mass is at rest due to zero net force. Let's see whether the charges and the rod are performing simple harmonic motion for small amplitude or not. Select graph tool from the toolbar and attach it to the rod. Under body one, from the graph window, select angular acceleration from the drop-down menu. Clearly, the graph is sinusoidal and thus simple harmonic motion is evident. Now, increase the amplitude by simply holding and releasing the rod at higher amplitude. Obviously, the bodies do not execute simple harmonic motion as the graph flattens out at the crests. Let's make a new simulation using a magnetic field. First, right-click over the canvas to add a slider from the Add Widgets tab. From the Properties table, change the name of the slider to B and set a value for the magnetic field as 2 million Tesla. Now, add an external magnetic field, which we're already familiar with, by right-clicking over the canvas and selecting World Settings. Then set the intensity of the magnetic field as B. We also need to create a charged body setting the value of its mass as 4 kg, its charge as 4 micro coulombs, and its horizontal velocity as 2 meters per second from the Properties table. Since, we don't want to show the electric field of the charge, uncheck the Draw Charge Field Lines box from the Preferences window. Before we run our simulation, disable gravity from the toolbar. Now hit the play button and use the slider to change the magnetic field. What do you think the radius of the circle is? Let's calculate using the magnetic force, which is providing centripetal force. Putting the values and solving the equation, 
diameter comes out to be 2 meters, which we can verify using the measure tool. This proves that the physics engine of some fee is able to calculate the mathematical equations accurately. Let's make a new simulation using a gravitational field. Let's start by adding gravitational field from the world settings. Since we want our field to be radially inwards, input the intensity values as shown on the screen. Now using the set bounds button, change the shape of the field to circle. Create a disk and set its position coordinates as 1 comma 0 and then set its vertical velocity as 1 meter per second. Before we run our simulation, disable gravity from the toolbar. Now hit the play button. The body had to revolve in circular orbit as the gravitational field is providing the necessary centripetal acceleration. If we slightly change the velocity, the body will no longer perform circular motion. Let's make a new simulation using a buoyancy field. Let's start by adding a buoyancy field from the world settings. Now create a disk, and use the FBD tool to show forces on the disk. Drag the body into the field and you'll see the forces or pressure rather, applied all over the body. As you can see the forces at the bottom have longer vector length suggesting the net upward buoyant force on the body. You can also play around by creating different bodies. Let's make a new simulation using forces controllers. First, create a ground surface using the fixed infinite plane tool and change the value of its friction to zero. Then create a block using the rectangle tool. Add a force on it using the apply force on body tool. Obviously, the block will run away. Now, let's change the magnitude of the force from the tree view of some fee under the controllers folder by double clicking on the force. If we hover over the info icon, we can see that force can take expressions in terms of variables such as time, position, components of velocities, and more. Now set the force as minus 8x, which will provide a restoring force to the block. Use the graph tool and hit the play button to verify that the block will perform a simple harmonic motion. Now change the force value again and add the horizontal component of velocity in the expression. As you might have guessed, the block will perform damped oscillations, which is evident from the graph. Hope you get an idea of how to create simulations using different fields and forces. Thank you for watching.